What's going on everybody? Friends, followers, subscribers, Mike McFarland here sitting in the studio, McFarland's Corner, and we are going to give you a little rundown about Lake Fork. Remember this is a free subscription, this is a free rundown. We tell you some information about bass fishing on Lake Fork, and sometimes even some crappie reports about Lake Fork. Um, basic information like lake levels, clarities, water temperatures, things like that. Um, and I just want to tell you right now, normally we're doing a report every Tuesday and every Thursday. We filmed on Tuesday, film on Thursdays. They air by Wednesday and Friday. Um, I've skipped the last couple of Tuesday reports because there's just nothing different. We're in the heart of winter. Everything is so cold. You can see 47 and 50 degrees um, and it's about to get colder. We had an inch of rain on Monday that brought the lake back up just a tiny bit. We went from 401.20 last week to 401.25, 401.28. 4128 and 4127. 0.25 is three inches. Okay, every 0.25 is three inches. Um, we are basically nine inches below full pool of 403 elevation. Clarities didn't change because it wasn't that heavy rain. It, it just was a drizzle rain all day, but it was cold. And then, like I said, it's about to get colder. It looks like some 20 degree highs and some six and seven degree lows coming through this weekend. And that's just going to make the bass fishing that much tougher. So if you're a glutton for punishment, you want to go out and freeze your butt off and fish on Lake Fork this weekend, have fun. <laughs> I recommend you do anything else. Stay at home. Go hunting because in the cold, actually the colder weather makes the animals move. They have to eat. They have to move. Um, they're warm-blooded creatures. Completely different. Um, or crappie fish. The crappie fishing has been really good on Lake Fork. Um, the crappie are deep as well. They're out in the 35 to 60 foot submerged trees um, and, and hand tied jigs and things and live scoping is a must. Um, but basically again, we're, we're in really good conditions lake level wise for springs around the corner. It's just, it's cold and it's going to stay that way and it's actually going to get even colder over the next probably five to ten days. Um, there are a lot of other options you have if you're a diehard fisherman and you really want to fish. Uh, number one, I'd be fishing deep. The deeper water doesn't get the effects as fast as the shallow water. Um, when I say deep, I mean 25, 35, or 40 foot of water. Fish some of the road beds and humps and deep ledges and channel swings and, and things where those fish can pile up and, and, and they're not affected immediately by this really crushing cold. Second, if you're going to be a diehard in fish, I'd recommend that you live scope. You can live scope and find them suspending in the trees. They're going to be very lethargic right down the middles of the creeks and the deeper trees. Again, those trees that are in 50 feet of water, you're going to have to be an expert at live scope. Um, and in a wide variety of ways, you might be able to catch them with Alabama rig, a swim bait, a jerk bait, etc. What I will ask you to do is that if you are a diehard fisherman this weekend, number one, don't go alone bring somebody with you. Number two, wear your life vest all day. And here's why. If you fall into water, if you were up Birch Creek, for example, and you fall out of your boat, first of all, you'll have a hard time getting in the boat. It's cold. It won't take long. And you can't drive fast enough back to any marina or any destination without most likely ending up with hypothermia. You know, you don't fish alone and do not fish without a life vest. You go in the water right now, it might cost you your life especially if it's 22 degrees for the high, okay? Um, what I would recommend if you're a diehard fisherman is, is go to a power plant lake. You got Brandy Branch and Martin Creek. They're down south, southwest, I'm um, sorry, southeast. Um, they're not far, hour and 50 minute drive, two hour max. And then you got Lake Welsh, Lake Welsh here locally about an hour and 30 minutes north of, of Lake Fork towards Mount Pleasant. Those are power plant lakes, so they're warm water lakes. I've had some of my best winter fishing in my life on Lake Welsh when it's bitter, nasty conditions like we're going to have this weekend. I was on Lake Welsh years ago and had a north wind blowing so hard that it hurt. It burned your skin and we had to turn our backs to it to fish. But we were slow rolling Alabama rigs in the creek channels and around the edges of the, the grass in warm water because of the power plant and crushing the fish. We had a blast, um, but it was cold. Oh, it was cold. I have a few other public tips that I do want to give you. Cup of soup, 
thermos full of hot coffee, hot tea, hot chocolate. I like to take a thermos and I fill it with just hot bouillon, chicken bouillon. Get it really hot in the microwave like you would fill your thermos with coffee. Fill it with chicken bouillon and sip on that halfway through the day. You'd be surprised at how good that really is when you're that bitter cold. Another tip that I will tell you is if you're going to fish, your eyelets are going to ice up. Your reel seat, right at your reel, your pawl, where the line goes into the reel, it's called a pawl. That's going to get iced up and it's not going to cast very well. Real magic. This real magic is actually terrible to spray on your fishing line. Don't spray it on the spool of your line, your reel, because it crystallizes and it actually will, will like act like sand on your fishing line and damage your fishing line. You're going to have to get some of it on the fishing line when you spray the guides of your fishing rod. So spray the guides, the eyelets of your fishing rod, and they won't ice up as much. The ice won't stick. It'll fall off. Um, so the real magic is really going cool. get it at Bass Pro Shops. I'm, I, this is an old bottle. I imagine they still have it. I haven't fished in those conditions in a long time. I didn't have to when I was a pro tournament fisherman, and I had no choice but to fish. This is what I did. Now I do what Mark Pack always said. Stay at home and fish from my couch. That's what I'd be doing this weekend or hunting. Different apparel, different conditions, and I'm not over water. So, you know, again, this week, uh, that's my best advice if you're going to fish Lake Fork. Um, I do want to invite you still, as always, to upgrade from being a free public subscriber to my members-only channel. Right now, there isn't anything different on any other lake or any information more that I give about Lake Fork because there's just it's not available. Later in the year, as the year progresses, when the season comes around, March, April, May, June, the members only get a lot more report of a report than you hear publicly. I give a basic report public. I give an in-depth, detailed, I give the juice in the members only channel. Not only do I give the juice of Lake Fork, but I have five other guides from Dallas all the way to Northeast Texas. And we cover Ray Hubbard, Lake Levon. Possum Kingdom, Palestine, O.H. Ivy, San Rayburn, Athens, Gilmer, and multiple other lakes, Lake Tewakini, multiple species of fish. So the members only channel that I'm inviting you to subscribe to is a full pledged in-depth fishing report that's very valuable to you in the Northeast Texas area. Fishing for crappie, for stripers, for white bass, for yellow bass, for, for large mouse. Okay, it's, it's, the, it's the deal. I ask you to look in the description below this video if you're interested. Click on the link to subscribe. Choose whether you want to be a member or an upgraded member. The upgraded members get more lessons. They get a month, a weekly fishing lesson to tune you, super tune you up. Um, but please, come check it out. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe. Um, and other than that, just want to give a big shout out to the sponsors, j Hot Chevrolet. Skeeter Bass Boats, Diamond Sports Marine, Yamaha, Texas Insider Fishing Report, Florida Insider Fishing Report with Captain Rick Murphy and Bree, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Power Pole, Bass Assassin, Bahio Sunglasses, Tightlines UV, Lake Fork Trophy Lures, Impact Lures, Santone Lures, Real Time Rods Magic Reaction, Lake Fork Marina, Go Fish Lures, Steve's Custom Prop Shop, The Original Rod Socks, The Sign Shop, Burning Stump Lodge, Lake Fork Resort, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing, Jamie's Restaurant in Lake Fork Marina, Oh My the Pie, Tackle Co-op, and Jamie's Jacked Up Designs. That's where we get all our shirts and hoodies and, and paraphernalia and things. Thanks to all those that support us. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, comment below if you will, and I'll see you next week with another free public rundown.